it's wrestling hero figs we're gonna be looking at Kyrie zane and elias right here from elite series 73 they're all up at ringside collectibles hit the link in the description below this count code hero is going to save you 10 percent now we already reviewed the full series which is triple h brian alistair black and was it uh grand man to yes the chase as well as the original so if you did miss out on those go check them out they're all right there on the channel and we have both of these to finally wrap up the full wave as well as the guitar we need a little melody man it's the holiday season and we need to play some songs for the cringe party right here that were always delivered to the whf universe the guitar they didn't just reuse the same one well from his entrance or defining entrance crates yes from his entrance crates it is the same look of it all but ultimately you are going to get something a little special with it where you're getting a little bit more shading more paint apps and you're always needing a little extra man like when it comes to elias you're going to need something different to kind of change it all up and that kind of goes the same for the hairstyle that we saw i'll show you the guitar it is a breakaway piece and mine is being held together by a rubber band which is good because otherwise we had a we would have had a small ap apocalypse during that unboxing so that's kind of what's keeping it all together you're getting a total of four pieces you're getting two in the back one for the main base and then the front piece i guess if you include the handle too that's also considered a part of it all and there's the shading right there nothing going on right there on the sides or the back you're gonna see all the action up front as well as right there on the handle really nice guitar man very pleased very happy with the overall outcome of it all and then once you do take off the rubber band you'll see what i'm talking about man we'll move it to the side so we can get a little bash in action right here on elias there you go interchangeable hands we got two open ones we got the uh, bandana right here. All of his bandanas that we've gotten so far have been very, very impressive, dude. Like, why couldn't they have done this with either... Who was it, Del Rio or Jericho? I feel, feel like when it came to Elias, he got the little extra touch when it came to all the scarves. You do, you can remove it. It is a rubber material, and that kind of goes the same for a shirt, getting a rubber base material, and then you get uh, Elias up front, and you got him playing the guitar. You're getting all the jams, all the stars, all that outline coming throughout, man. It says walk with Elias. I walk with this very, very small font, very hard to pick up, but it is there nonetheless. On the back, not much going on. On same torso that we have seen for all of the Elias figures, uh, which is your typical traditional Triple H style of torso right here. The pants, we're getting kind of like a, it's like a, I'm going to call it like a baby food or baby diarrhea green. It's it's a ugly green, dude. I, I don't know what, what the thought idea was behind it when he decided to wear these, but I'm not a fan of the color, man. Like this, you'll never catch me wearing, maybe it's like a dark khaki. It's all on how you look at it. Like it's just a very interesting uh, paint mold number nonetheless and it is uh utilizing the same style of pants that we have seen with previous elias figures the bandanas right here that are wrapped around the wrist it's gonna have the matching look that we saw right here with the scarf and that kind of goes the same right here for the left side except instead of black we're getting it white but the ultimate piece the piece that's gonna really bring this figure up some it's gonna be the new look right here with the Elias scan. It is the best one yet, man. I, I think that that man bun is being captured right. The beard, it's all right there. The eyes, I just, I really love this scan, dude. This has to be my favorite head scan from the series. Not my favorite figure from the wave, but definitely the favorite scan from the wave, right? Or from the series. Let's get Kyrie Zane right here the first time in the line. Now we have the Kaibuki Warriors. Now they're finally coming together. It's like, I've been looking for you, Asuka. I didn't know you were looking for her. I think had I known you were looking for her i would have told you i would have just called you and be like yo you still looking for asuka because she just hit in that uh target exclusive fan well what is it the survivor yeah it's a survivor series and it is not a, it's not a matching look i don't know if they have have they worn matching attires yet you guys i honestly couldn't tell you so right here what hero fix thought was a, a coffee mug it's actually an elbow pad it kind of does like look at this like let's say you don't look at the back end and you just look at the front it does kind of look i mean it's missing the handle but it's an honest mistake man interchangeable hands right here that we are seeing we're getting one open hand for the left side and a slight close fist right here on the right as far as the other accessories goes we're getting that steering wheel to the boat and then up here we're getting that little piece that she's gonna need to 
to find Asuka Katsuki. She's been looking for her. She's been waiting for her. Actually, Asuka, Asuka it, hold on, reverse. We're going back because Asuka was the one that was initially looking for her throughout the whole process of getting this figure unboxed. What is going on? There's a separation. Wait, is there articulation in this, dude? I think there is for the first time in rubber coat history. We are seeing articulation right there on the arm. You see that? You can have it down. You can have it up. You can have it whichever way you want. But in order for her to hold this man, we're going to need that other interchangeable hand. And that's the reason why they, because normally what they do is that for any hands, they'll have like two open hands and then two close fists. But the reason why you're having that right there is so you can hold that right there. That's cool. Let's bring this up to the frame because I want to check this out. See if there's any paint shading. I don't see any. I am seeing that there is outline work to kind of like, you know, compress it and bring it out. I mean, it, it, there is no articulation to it, but you can tell that they kind of went ahead and gave it that look. For the uh, glass piece right there, there is no glass on the front or the back end. There is a hole, but you can't see anything through it. So that is really, really cool piece, man. Re the steering wheel too. I think the steering wheel it's a nice little addition. You put that on the right. So the way that you complete the whole figure, like if you plan to display this with all the accessories, you put that on the left. And then this right here, you'd have it on the right. And I'm telling you, that's, that's awesome. Like, that is just brilliant. Like they said, we still want to make sure that everything with the coat right there, we capture it. But we also don't want to lose that option of her being able to put up the telescope to her eyes. The hat? Look at this hat. We're getting a little bush action up top, and then right there, we're getting all the designs. Right, that is a nice hat, man. This has got to be like a solid, like like when it comes to the entrance gear, you guys. This figure is standing out pretty ranked. It's ranking really high right here for like the overall look of it all, with like the whole completion of its all accessories, man. Wow, solid figure, man. 2019 in the scan too. I want to show you guys the scan now. How does this work? How do you take it off? Okay, so we start off with the left. How are we gonna do it with the right? Do you have to pull that individually i don't know man it's it's a process right here for all of us so just work with me honestly i think this piece has to come up first and you might have to kind of force it out be careful though because the joints right here it might snap on you i think had i taken off the hand it might have made things a little bit easier we'll put the other hand the right one so you guys can actually get the feel of it all when she puts the little telescope piece right up to her eye man that's awesome dude really cool so that's that's what you got to do take off the hand first and then you can work your way around it so you can have it all right there let's put it on there and then one more piece this might have to be forced a little bit which way are we going to do it like up or down or all the way around there you go check it out so that's how she holds it and if you look right there by the fingernails we're getting some really nice blue paint apps right here uh, just a great solid piece man the head scan too the way the hair turned out because Kyrie Zane she definitely has an interesting look man see the dreads right there or the braids on the sides on the back not much it's kind of it's like a two paint hair piece, piece which is kind of like a maroon and a red all coming together to bring it to and then up front we're getting the strap that's it's actually it's it's not painted on it is molded so you can remove it if you want to. I don't know why you would. She is wearing, I think she's wearing a necklace. Yes, it's very hard to see it because of the way that the head is sitting in there. But you can see it right underneath there. Really cool, dude. So the rest of the design right here, we're getting some reds on the actual trunks as well as on the top area. And then on the back, we got Kyrie, and then we got uh, Zane on the right side. As far as the boots go right here, you're getting kind of like the whole compass look of it all right here on the inside of the boots and in the back of the kick pads. We're getting the kind of like the cross pattern that wraps up the boots up front right there. I'm telling you, some really nice touches. I really don't see any issues with this one. I do see a, uh, a little bit of smudge right here on the right thigh area, but nonetheless, pretty neat. And if you guys aren't picking up on this, I know it's hard to tell, but there is actual double knee art articulation right here so Kyrie Zane is benefiting from the new women's articulation when it comes to the knee joints right there really awesome and even though it's a single hinged elbow you're getting actually past a 45 degree man look at that you're actually you can almost do like a full-on curl dude that's nice so overall I'm gonna tell you this this one right here He's getting about, yeah, I gotta give him, I gotta give him a nine. I'm pretty happy with the overall figure, like the scan. It's just the color of the pants. I mean, I know that's the attire, or I know that's the look that he wore when he wore this attire. Kyrie Zane, she's getting 11. But as far as like the overall ranking, 
Number one, I'm gotta, I got to give it to Aleister Black in the wave. He's ranking number one. Number two, it's a fight between Brian and Triple H. Like, let's go ahead and say that my Brian didn't come out looking like a zombie right there with those eyes draped to the or to the left side. He would have clearly been number two. But I got to give it to Triple H for number two. Number three right here, we're giving it to Brian. Kyrie Zane, number four. Number five right here, I'm going to give it to the blue Grand Metalik. And then six right here, mm, the, ah, yeah, we're going to go with Elias. And then the final place right here will be the black look for and Matt Talik. Overall, great wave, great series, a lot of accessories. Couple of first times in the lines introduced into this wave. Very, I think this wave right here for Elite Series 73, they did a great job. It's kind of hard to like just pick out certain figures from the series because all of them are standing out as an absolute must. But for sure right here, number one, got to give it to Black. I want to thank you guys for watching be sure to hit the subscribe button if you're new to the channel and we'll see you on the next one